You know, Washington is 67 square miles surrounded by reality. It's, it's a place where friends come and go, but enemies accumulate. Just ask. And as Harry Truman said, if you want a friend in Washington, get a dog. Here's my dog licks. I got all those planted. That was my, my major contribution is to get them to plant dog licks along here. Most of them look pretty good. And this is our, our deal with our neighbor, the Corcoran. I decided we had all this waste space. We ought to use it for something. And so mom came up with the idea of having the Corcoran School of Art, you know, the, they have an accredited art school there. So instead of having waste space, we have this neat art exhibit. It's really quite good, too. He's a good looking guy. Well, I got some new ones. Wow, look at that. There's a string hanging down here. I'm gonna come, I'm gonna come down and put one of my mobiles on that. You know. Good morning. Good morning. Chairman's elevator. Okay. What do you think that's Seedman Sluggers? Don't you think that's a great shirt? Yeah. I assume that this is mine. That's got my name on it. No, they all got mine. I, I was going to give those out for Christmas presents to the to the kids. I think that be appropriate. Uh, I gotta go and talk to these people and I'm trying to figure out who they are. It's a very interesting outfit. I never heard of them before. Did you ever hear of CUC International? Oh, a private company? Yeah. 271 million in sales. Hey, how, how are, are you, you, Warren? Good you to see you. Well, Welcome. You to take the time. It's nice to feel that we regulators have such tremendous power, but the fact of the matter is what we're seeing is an economic downturn in the real estate area and in generally in the economy. I'm not sure that you can say that the problems in the SNL industry, which were cl clearly deposit insurance, are so clear when you get to the banking industry. But what is clear is that in both cases, it was bad real estate loans that brought the institutions down. I don't know if you ever saw that little piece I wrote on why the SNLs got into trouble. But the first part of it was, if you don't get the facts, you'll never get to the right answer. And if you don't face the facts, you'll never get to the right answer.
Somebody's got to be sick. <laughs> 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 I'm not still with her. Huh? Well, that's true, but. <laughs> All right, David, <laughs> come on. I'm not losing. Let's go. One, two, three. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Bill. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Happy birthday. Did great. Okay, I'll put a cut. Look at that cake. That's a full time dedicated art piece. But like Sam. He's a good little point of Russian. All right, well, we uh, thank you all. And, uh, thank you. I must say that it's uh, nice to have a birthday, considering I used to fight them, but now I love them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here, here. Uh, anyway. Is 202. That's area code 202. Not where they live is not area 202. It, it sure is. You want to bet? I'll bet you on that. Well, quite. You haven't had your drink, Sally, yet? I have a small drink. Oh, I thought maybe your poor temperament was due to lack of having a drink, but it isn't that, huh? So, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we we're getting we're going to have chili enchiladas, tamales, chili fixed dinner, New Mexico Bankers Association, Russell Office Building. Room three twenty three or something like that. Room unknown. No Senate Caucus Room three twenty five. Russell Office Building. Yeah, to the end of the hall and up the stairs. Where am I? There we go. Up here, I can smell the chili from here. Can't you? Up here. Hello. Hi, Georgia Tyler. How can I help you? Bill Seedman. Mr. Seedman, right here. Thank you. And that's Sally. Sally. Hi, Georgia Tyler. And, and that's. I don't think. Yes, we do. <laughs> Oh, good. And would you like to take a chance at winning a prize? Of course. <laughs> okay. What? What's the price? The pr this is a free. <laughs> free? This is the first awesome. free lottery you've ever been Never in. saw anything free in my life before. I can't right. believe it. Free trip to New Mexico. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Oh, yes, it would. And how? That's our home state. Okay, well, welcome us back. Right. Thank you. That's right, right up by Wagon Mound. Well, we look forward to working with you on this project. Thank you. I don't know where all the margaritas are. Hi. How are you doing? Not nice I to see you. I want you to know that we've got you at table uh, six. Table six. Did yeah. you meet Sally? Yes, Sally. Yeah. How are you? Nice to see you. We met at the Arizona Bankers Convention. I was over for your speech. Oh, were you? Oh, yeah. you said I I'm caught hell for that, you know. Yeah, it was a good speech. Yeah. How are you? Hi. My wife's me. got one just like that. I bought her one just like oh, with those little lovely. birds on them. Yeah. They are lovely. 
That shows you what you can do out in the wilderness. <laughs> we started a mail order business on in Wagon Mound. You know where Wagon oh, yeah. Mound is? Sure. It's a booming business. It's in our fourth year. We did 250,000 in sales. I'm just telling them about these successful enterprises that are you starting up. You need, we, we can <laughs> open an account for you. Yeah, you better get it our account. And my daughter does the illustrations. See all the pictures on there? All the equipment. She does that. And her husband's a horseshoer. And UPS comes there every day and they ship this stuff out. Farriers. No, you know, you know, he was he was president of the New Mexico Ferry. I have 50 horses and and I call the the, the horseshoer farriers and they say we're horseshoers. <laughs> you have 50 horses? Yeah. Give him the catalog. <laughs> How are you? Good to see you. Great of you to come. Always a pleasure to be here. Let me tell you, if that fellow at the Federal Reserve, whom we all love and respect, if he tightens money with the crisis around in finance and in, in real estate, in, in SNL banking, plus the foreign debt, plus corporate debt, he thinks he's going to squeeze inflation out, he's just going to bust the economy. Well, I'll tell you this, I don't think the president is being very well briefed on the status of the financial system. I think his real problem uh, is that He's got to keep interest rates up to keep foreign money coming in here to finance the deficit. If you'd win your day one of these days. Did you read my article? I did. It was very good. They're trying to convince the president to do that. Well, it's very boy, close. To yeah, it. is that right? Boy, that would be terrific. But you no, can't, I, can't do it with another little mini, mini conference. That's right, not worth a damn. That's right. When the World Bank meeting is here, there'll be a lot of people here who we could get together to just talk about the subject because. When you get right down to it, that's probably as important a world safety and soundness issue as there is around. I'll never be able to eat all this, but I'm going to try. Oh, well, you know, you haven't piled your plate near as full as everybody else has. I know. I have these guys. Here, I want you to throw a little of that refried right in there and on a pile a little of this on top of it. There we go. Thank you. What you got there, Sally? Onions? I'll never be able to eat all this, but maybe maybe Tom can help me or something. On a more serious note, uh, I noticed uh, Bill Seaman was here. I first met Bill Seaman. I was campaigning in Wagon Mound, New Mexico, in a parade on Bean Day, and this guy was throwing candy at me. And uh, I looked over and it was Bill Seidman, and he said he was a constituent of mine. And uh, let me just say that uh, we've had some tough times with uh, banking issues, SNL issues, and uh, Bill Seidman on a bipartisan basis, especially from the Democratic side. We respect him, he's doing a good job, and I think a good part of that Bill is because uh, you started getting real good since you moved to Mack Wagon now. <laughs> if you're getting a little nervous because the Democrat is being very nice to you, I'd be glad to announce it. <laughs> and we thank everyone for coming to be our guest this evening. Thank you very much. Good night. Come on, Sally. Good night. Thanks for coming. Pleasure. Anytime.
Everything is that water's broken and, and, and Daniel's going overseas. You're out of it. Yeah. Well, let's get married. Yeah. yeah. I mean, well, let's get married. I'm going to Hawaii. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to be I'm ambassador to Hawaii. Too. That's the idea. I'm going to get Woody Allen to run my campaign. Oh, God. <laughs> Can I do some with Jack? Okay. Here you go. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's going to Talk okay. to him. Well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at the shapes of those guys. I know. <laughs> I know. Like, like son, like grandson, like grandfather. Well, perfect. <laughs> Junior Achievement Association, in which they award several Grand Rapidians or ex Grand Rapidians. Or deceased Grand Rapidians. Or deceased Grand Rapidians, a place in the Business Hall of Fame for Grand Rapids. I'm also here to work on my tax return and to see Grandma Barry. 
and to join with the Grand Valley Foundation as they plan their enrichment dinner. Well, I get back here a lot. I like it. It's a great place. One of my favorite places. Spent most of my life here. Right behind you, ma'am. Right. Well, oh, that's the Washington Post story. How'd they ever get it in there so fast? <laughs> well, that must be from uh, their Washington Bureau. How much is the press here? 20? 30 cents. 30 cents? Mm -hmm. Look at what's happened to this world. I'm Bill Seedman. Nice to see you. Howdy. Nice to see you. How you doing? Hi. Nice to meet you. All right. You bet. We're ready to go. Okay. The boss suite. I don't think I've ever been in this. This is. Uh, this looks pretty splendid. Good gracious. Yeah. This looks fairly splendid indeed. Good evening, Mr. Rich. Gee, Wiz, what a what a view you have from your little place. I'm fine. How are you? Yeah, it's a nice view. Just enjoying it. Yeah. The whole thing. Michigan's gone green just in time, huh? Lovely. It's been and you can slow even get, doing it. Yeah. Been a cold. Any fish jumping in the river? Not oh, yet. Yeah, huh? I noticed them from up here. Well, that's in the fall. Uh, Oh, oh, is that right? Yeah, that's right. They go you know, up in the fall. Right. They come down in the spring, don't they? Oh, they're well, small. They might they come down in the spring, <laughs> but they don't jump. <laughs> I see. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Was there any truth to it all, or? Well, the president denied it, and uh, or his his uh, his press secretary denied it in the uh, press conference today. So, don't ask me. Then? Huh? How the story gets started? Huh? I do really have no idea. No, you didn't talk to him. I mean, the inference no. was that you had visited with him, and he. Had well, I to did him. meet with the president, but leave. that, but uh, where the story got started, I don't know. He didn't tell you it was time to leave, anyway. No, oh, he didn't. Okay. I've been fired and hired all in one day. <laughs> God, that is a tough town, that Washington. It is not always a good idea to be too. Too open and forthright in the, in, the, in the world of Washington, you know. It has a certain so you limitation. Be open and yeah, I know. You should. You should appear to be. <laughs> Are you coming or going? <laughs> oh, I'm just doing the same thing I've been doing. I'm doing the same thing I've been doing. Well, it's not as I say. Not the only really honest man there. They can't let you go. <laughs> well, there you have it from an expert. I appreciate those sentiments. My general thought is that uh, that's a tough town. If you can get out of it whole, you ought to do so when you can. <laughs> Hello, Marsha. That was a lovely picture of you on the front of the Grand Rapids Press, my outstate edition. I didn't see it. That it looked like you had white hair. Oh, how wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> it was a darn good picture. I think that the, uh, the importance of the individual in the enterprise has uh, become so paramount because resources don't mean much anymore in the sense that wherever they are, you can organize them. It's people and information and intelligence and, as you well know, motivation. And uh, we've got more of that than any place. We got more flexibility. We got all the races, you know, if one race is good at something, we got it. And, uh, and uh, it's gonna be, uh, I think a tremendous competitive advantage in the United States. Well, that's the only It's not far from what we've been working on. It's called the American Advantage, and it's uh, why America will succeed in the 90s. I was trying to use it almost as a textbook for other countries of the world to understand capitalism. Well, this is just the opposite. 
the under, to yeah. understand the compassionate side of our system so that they won't get so hung up that they need socialism. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I always go back to those great days I had with Herman Miller when old man Dupree was around there. And he kept saying he wanted to do this and he wanted to do that and the Bible and all the other things. And I said, you know, the only way you can do all these things is make some money. Now let's, and you know how you make money? You get something out that people want. It's not, you know, and I had to convince him that it was not a violation of his religious code to make money. He was, every time we turned to make money, he would get a gilly conscience about it. And I kept, in fact, someday. Yeah, well, it probably runs in the blood, but whatever it was, I oh, I spent a lot of time with him. And I never thought I'd make this much. <laughs> yeah, well, you made a little more than any of us thought you'd ever make. But I never thought I'd have presidents worrying about me either, so it's all right. I'd rather have the money. <laughs> I'd rather have the money. Now, I know I'm the last speaker, and it's incumbent upon the last speaker to be short. I'm reminded of that continuously, and... Uh, particularly in Washington, where I have a speechwriter. Uh, the last one I had uh, ran to long speeches, so I told him I want a 15-minute speech, no more, no less, and uh, he gave me the material. I went to the platform, and it ran a full 30 minutes. So when I got off, I said to him, uh, young man, I told you a 15-minute speech, and the audience was bored, and you simply didn't follow instructions. He said, but Mr. Chairman, it was a 15-minute speech. I gave you two copies. <laughs> I'm very pleased to have had the opportunity to uh, be on uh, this platform. I'm honored that Junior Achievement uh, chose me for this honor. And most of all, I love being back in Grand Rapids. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>